Hey guys, it's Kenyatta. Um, welcome back. I am trying my hand at making kombucha. This is my first time. I'm going, I have a SCOBY. Hold on, let me show you my SCOBY. I have a SCOBY. Isn't it cute? It doesn't look cute, but it's cute. Um, because I really enjoy kombucha and I spend like three to four bucks um, for a kombucha. And I was like, I was watching some Whispering Willows YouTube channel. Anyway, I think I'll, I'll tag her in it. Um, and she was showing her steps on making kombucha. So I'm about to try it and we're going to see how it goes. I've never done this before. So, you know, when it comes to fermenting things, I'm like, I don't know if I want to try that, but I'm going to try it. Um, after my last explosion of the mason jar, I'm a little nervous about it, but I think I'm going to do well. Um, the ingredients to start it is the SCOBY, of course. Black tea or green tea. I'm going to use black tea because I want to try it the way her recipe calls for it. Um, so I want to try that. And then yeah, you do like six tea bags and a cup of cane sugar and 14 cups of water, filtered water. I'm using spring water because, yeah, I'm using spring water. So let's see if I can make this happen. Let's see. I think I can do this. So while we're waiting for the water to start boiling, we're going to measure out our sugar, which is raw cane sugar. When I first did this, I thought, oh, I could just use regular sugar. Oh, no, that's enriched sugar. Bleached sugar. Yeah. So the recipe calls for one cup of cane sugar. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do a cup. This is the tea I'm using. The English breakfast black tea. I got it from Aldi. That's my new favorite spot is Aldi. That's my spot. But yeah, we're going to use this. And... So we got six tea bags. So we've got the tea steeping. We're gonna let it set for 10 minutes. So we have a gallon glass jar that we're gonna use to put our tea and our water. Once we let the tea steep, we're gonna put it in here with the sugar. We're gonna add the sugar and then we're gonna put it in here and then we're gonna add our 14 cups of water. And then we're gonna add our SCOBY. And then we won't close the lid on this cause it needs to breathe. So we're gonna use a coffee filter and a rubber band. Timer's off. Yes. Now we do sugar in the tea and we pour it in the jar and then we add 14 cups of water. Yeah, that's what we do next. <laughs> You want to make sure you stir to make sure all of the sugar is dissolved. That's the catch from my understanding. I think I'm pretty good though. So we'll do 14 of these. So 
This is so different. This is like a science experiment to me. But yeah, we're gonna make this happen. So, it looks like everything is dissolved. Just a little bit. We're gonna add some water to it. There we go. Since this is my first time doing this, I bought spring water. Um, I hope it doesn't matter. Um, on her video, she said filtered water, but all I got is spring water. So we're gonna go with 14 cups of this. <laughs> So now we add the SCOBY. It made another SCOBY. Hold on. <laughs> My top SCOBY, it's multiple SCOBYs in here, so hold on. You don't want to touch it so that it doesn't get any bacteria. Look at the scoby. It's at least three of them. And they're all in there. So now we've got to stir it. I got multiple scobies already. Look at that. One, two, three three possible four I see a little one so there's that so we have now put the filter on it I'm going to put today's date on it and we'll come back and check on it in seven days to see where we are if we can start our second part of fermentation to make kombucha that was so fun making the scoby um, like I said, I've never done it before. I can't wait to see how it turns out so that I can start the second part of the fermentation process of actually making the kombucha with the fruit. And I've heard stories about <laughs> jars exploding. Um, yeah, I don't want to go through that, but yeah. So I'll keep you posted on that. And if you watch this far, Leave me a comment, let me know what's your favorite kombucha flavor because I've got to pick fruit to go into this one. So just let me know and I'll see you next time.